So, yes, we are on Friday, and what it's like 4.30, so, you know, that 5 o'clock uh, whistle is going to be blowing soon. So, everybody's got big plans for the weekend, right? We put so much planning into how our weekend's going to be, and we're all TGIF. This has been the suckiest week ever. I can't wait for this week to be over, right? That's what a lot of people do. So, let me ask you this. How much planning do you put into your Monday and to your week? Do you put in as much planning into Monday as you do into your Friday? Good question, right? Right. Um, because, you know, when Monday comes around, everybody is all, I hate Monday, Monday sucks, the weekend was too short, blah, 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 blah. Here's what I'm here to tell you. If your Friday plans and your Saturday plans, if you're putting more time into planning your partying and what's gonna go on during the weekend than you are as to what's going on in the week because maybe you hate your job so much, you need to change that. How do you change it? Um, change your mindset, first of all. I, I, I honestly could tell you that, yes, even when I worked in healthcare, I hated Mondays. I hated the weekends. I worked every other weekend. I worked holidays. I worked whenever. Whenever they needed a shift, that's when you were scheduled. So yeah, I could see why people hate their jobs. I really, really could. Um, my thing is, why do you hate it? Why when Monday comes around, are you like, God, Monday sucks. I hate Mondays. Like, why are we TGIF? Why, why aren't we TGIM? Why are we so into like, hey, it's the weekend. I'm ready to party. Let's party during the week. Why don't you make your work and I'm not saying a party party, like throw down, get drunk, whatever it is that you guys are doing on the weekends nowadays. I don't know because I'm too old. Um, you know, why, why is it that you hate Mondays? Do you hate your job? Do you hate your boss? Are you sick of going to the same job every day? Are you tired of not being able to, you know, be involved in your kids' um, activities? I saw someone post the other day like, you know, I really wish that they would make school activities always during the evening to, to take in mind these parents at work. And I get that. I totally get that. Um, but is that why, you know, why is it? Find out why you hate Mondays and then turn it around and focus on what you want to do and where you need to change instead of focusing on how much you hate what you're doing. Because when Monday comes around, I don't hate Mondays. I used to, but I don't hate Mondays anymore. I just don't. Um, it's just not something that I don't look forward to. I mean, yeah, I like the weekends because my family's home and, you know, if we choose to do something together, we can. And it's a little bit laid back and not as crazy and rushed. But Mondays are not a struggle. I'm not driving the struggle bus on a Monday or I'm not on Wednesday going, oh, is it Friday yet? I'm not doing that. If you're doing that, you need to reexamine and figure out why in the heck am I doing what I do? You know, develop some different skills so you can get ahead and find out what you can do to make Mondays not suck so much. Find out what you can do to put in a little more planning into not making Monday suck versus how much planning you put into your weekend plans. I mean, seriously, people put in so much more effort into their weekends than they do into the rest of their lives. I've seen it. It's sad. Okay. So like what conflict do you want to escape? I said this, like, do you want, is it because you're just at a dead end job? Is it because you're just not making money? Is it because you hate your boss? You know, you hate the hours. You're not getting the family time. What, what is it? You got to think like, well, what is it? Okay. But guess what? Can I build a new life? Cause you know, I have this career and I don't think I can leave it and all this other stuff. And I get that too. What I'm saying is no one's going to change this for you you have to change it on your own. So something was brought to my attention today and I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw this one at you, okay? So like I said, nobody's gonna build it for you. So I was on a call this afternoon and, and it was like, hey, take your hat and throw it over the fence. Your favorite hat, your favorite hat or your favorite, I don't know, who is it, Michael Kors? Your favorite Michael Kors purse and your hat and whatever it is and your, your Jordans, throw them over the fence. I bet you do what you had to do to go get those things, right? because of how important they are, or how much they cost, or how much value they are to you. So try valuing your happiness in life and your happiness with Monday versus Friday. You know, try to figure it out. Try to figure out like, hey, uh, 
I'm going to go get that hat or I'm going to go get that purse that I threw over the fence or that someone took from me and threw over the fence or I'm going to go get my Jordans that went over the fence. What are you going to do to go over the fence to change your life? How important is it to you to where you're sucking every Monday and you hate it every Monday, but Friday comes around and man, are you ready to party? And you are putting in the effort to get together with all your friends and all this other stuff. So if you put in as much effort as you do to planning your weekend, take that effort and redirect it and focus it into what you want to do instead of how much you hate where you're at in life right now. Which brings me to what my next series is going to be next week. But before I announce that, you know, it's like take a leap of faith. And once that hat goes over the fence, jump your booty over there and get it. Do what it takes. You know, like maybe there's like the barking dog that they had, like maybe Chopper's in there. Chopper from um, Stand By Me. Maybe Chopper is over the other side of that fence. But your favorite hat's over there and you want to get it before Chopper does. Or your Michael Kors purse is over there. You better get it before Chopper does. So seize the day, seize the week before Chopper sucks it up. Whatever Chopper is, your boss, your the hours you hate, you know, whatever it is. And I'm not saying that maybe you hate your job, but if you're so looking forward to the weekend because your week has sucked so bad, what can you do to change it? Throw your hat and figure it out, right? Show up in your life like you're gonna show up this weekend or on the weekends or for, for the weekend, whatever it is. You know, live for Monday like you live for the weekend. I don't have that problem. I used to, but I don't have that problem. Here's the deal, you gotta make your goals and what you're you're focusing on what you want, make that bigger than what your excuses are or or that you're afraid to change things or you're afraid to develop new skills or to take a leap of faith and and you know make yourself better. There's nothing wrong with that. Yes, throw the hat, throw it over the fence, go get it, figure out how you're gonna get it. Don't even really worry, but get it before Chopper does, is what I'm saying. So bringing you to what my next series is going to be next week, starting Monday. You know, I didn't want to leave you hanging too long. I took a day off after my last series. What I do and why I do it and how I do it. Some of you know some of the things I do, but it's way bigger. It's way bigger and getting way bigger. And I'm going to share with you how maybe what you're doing right now, you can expand it that way. Or maybe something that, you know, might actually give you some sort of side hustle type thing, an extra source of income or extra cash flow outside of, you know, what is it that you're passionate about? Maybe you can do it kind of on, on the side and build something off of it and make some money off of it to where you can say, I'm going to take this week off. Or I'm going to take two days off this week so I don't have to worry about Monday sucking and Monday being Monday. Or, you know, when I am told I have to stay late at work, maybe I can say I don't have to. Maybe there's a little more leeway there. These are things that your TGIF big planning should be TGML. Thank God it's my life and I've got some big plans and I'm going to do some things about it so I don't have to think, Oh, it's the weekend. It's Friday. I'm ready to go. It's five o'clock. The five o'clock alarm is, is gone. And oh crap. Now I got to drive home in that freaking traffic. You guys, there's so much more out there. There's so much more once you throw that hat and jump over that fence. And that's what I want to do. So next week, I'm going to kind of show you guys some different ways to work some side hustles into your life to where maybe Monday won't suck so bad, right? All right. So have a good weekend. Go ahead with your TGIF, but remember when Monday comes around, the hat's going over the fence, and I'm gonna I'm gonna open you guys up to a whole bunch of cool flipping things as far as how you can expand what you do right now. Whatever it is that you're doing, you can expand that. You can, you know, change it. You can Focus more on what you want versus what you hate out of your job. Maybe you're really good at your job, but you just hate where you work. There's other ways that you can change that. And I'm going to kind of show you some ways. And, you know, you can do what you want with them. You can sit on them and think about them, whatever it is. But if you're that person that's always like, yeah, I got big plans for this weekend. Thank God it's Friday and blah, blah, blah. And then Monday comes and you're like, shit, it's Monday and it sucks and I hate it and I hate this job and you know, take this job and shove it. You don't want to feel that way every day, every week, do you? So let's work on not feeling that way. And I'm going to show you how next week. I'm going to give you some tips on that. So stay tuned for next week's series on 
how to not make Monday suck so bad. I think that's what I'm going to name it. I'm going to change the name of it instead of saying why I do what I do and how I do it. It's going to be how not to make your Monday suck so bad. That's it. So TGIF, have a good weekend, and I'll see you on TGIM. Bye-bye.